And President Trump is threatening to send more troops to the southern border after a sharp increase in the number of people stopped from entering this country. Customs and Border Protection figures show more than 92,000 migrants were apprehended crossing the border back in March, and that is the highest total in more than a decade. Cities along the border are struggling to handle the surge. Marea Villarreal is at one point of entry. That's in Hidalgo, Texas. With more on this story, Marea, good morning to you. Well, good morning. The border chaos has created this sort of bottleneck here at the border. Right now, there are trucks that are trying to transport goods into the United States. Some of them have been waiting for days to get across the bridge. A government official tells me there is a shortage of manpower right now because they are diverting resources to respond to the influx of migrants. Government officials say the number of migrants crossing the southern border continues to grow. A Rio Grande Valley affiliate, KGBT, was there when two men from Mexico were caught hiding in thick brush. They say they paid a smuggler $2,000 to get them into the states. This father from Ecuador says he gave his life savings to a smuggler to bring him and his two children to Texas. We have seen an excess of millions of dollars each week made by the cartels and the smuggling organizations. Uh, and, and a lot of that is dependent on how much traffic we see. Is it like this every morning? Every morning. Crowds of migrants fill the bus station in Brownsville, Texas, waiting for transport to shelters. Get an hour. Volunteer Sergio Cordova provides water and snacks to help the migrants get through the day. And some of them don't have shoelaces? No, or the majority where, where's don't. Where's their stuff? They don't have stuff. They just have what they're the clothes on their back. Immigration advocates say these people are fleeing in such large numbers because of the extreme poverty and violence they face in Mexico and Central America. Do these people understand that they are breaking the law when they come in illegally? Is that their intention to scam the system? It is not. Uh, these individuals are very humble, very scared individuals who are just trying to make sure that their children are protected. Vice President Mike Pence will be visiting the border in Arizona. He'll be taking a tour of one of the stations down there. We've also confirmed some of the military personnel that is expected to reach the border later will be helping with logistics as well as administrative duties and also some medical support. Nora? All right, Marea, thank you so much.